Hey channel, welcome back. Today we're going to try to install this Vantrue F1 dash cam for the motorcycle. So you guys stay tuned. Sorry about the fan noise. It's going to be hot today. Check this out. Okay, let's figure out how to get this installed. All right, first step is a little bit of exploratory. Back here at the back, I believe I'm going to mount the rear view camera on top of the license plate light, but I got to figure out how to get it through to under the seat. And I hope I don't have to take off the trunk. I really don't want to take off the trunk. So, took the back license plate holder off so I could see up in here. I'm about to take the seat off see if I can see any daylight between the two that I can get a cable through. Now as I've said before when you're taking off the seat the first two bolts are six millimeter bolts on the front of the seat that hold the seat on. Be careful when you loosen those and pull them out. You don't want to lose those washers or the bolt itself down into the engine so just be careful go slow when you're pulling those out after you've completely loosened them. All right, here's the good news. I do see a little daylight once I took the seat off. Take a look. Can you see back in there? Even on the other side? Looks like I got a couple of paths without having to take off the seat. That's good news. All right. Got my giant fishing rod and my zip tie fed through wherever that daylight was. So now I'm going to hook up this cable to the camera so I'll have a lot of line to work with and pull it through the other, other direction. Alright, based on based on where my cable's coming out from the back of the bike I need to drill an access hole right about here on the license plate holder. It's all plastic behind, it's not going to hurt anything. And the hole needs to be that big so that this can fit through. And then I'm going to mount the camera on this. And of course the camera is adjustable. So even though that's not a flat level surface, I can adjust the camera to a level horizontal position and it's above the license plate light so it won't get any of that glare at night uh, I think that's gonna work hey, that's what I'm gonna try anyway here we go all right it looks like looks like 3 8 a 3 8 inch hole is gonna be just about wide enough we're gonna try that first we need to go wider we can go wider that's what I'm going to start with. But before I do that, I'm going to drill a pilot hole before the step bit. All right. Looking at the back of this thing, I want to come through right about here. So it's right about here. And then the cable will run up and over to the camera right up here. So I'm going to start drilling from behind. Got that started. I'm going to put a little bit of masking tape on the front. It seems to make a cleaner hole when you do that. I don't know. On painted surfaces, I don't know about the plastic. Alright. There we go.
All right, that's three eighths. Let's see how that works. Oh wait, I didn't want to drill here. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, see that makes a pretty smooth hole when you put tape over it for some reason. And the verdict is, oh, so close. It just, oh, it's so close. All right, got to go a little bigger. All right, and that fits through, no problem. And that's gonna sit up there like that. And of course, you know, the back side of this license plate holder is just open to the tire. It doesn't matter that that's open. You know, you don't need a grommet in there. You're not trying to keep rain out. I mean, rain and water, whatever, is getting kicked up by the tire on the back side of this anyway. So I think it's okay with just the hole. All right, first things first, let's get this cable tied together. Oops. Four prongs inside, a female, four holes. Just gotta line them up visually. And then just twist that Twist that connecting nut together, and there we should have a good connection. Push that up in there. Connect my connect my license plate light back. All right. Put that back in up there. There's a grommet in the middle line here. There we go. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to mount it right up there. I think it's going to be fine. All right, time to bolt all this license plate frame back together. Back in a second. Okay, so here's what it looks like mounted. Right now it's just 3M tape. I'll probably go back and put in some small screws. But it's pretty firm right now. i uh, got the cable mounted around here. got some black gaffer's tape just to hold it down in place. Got some gaffer's tape wrapped around the wire itself so it doesn't rub on this cutout plastic. Uh, if I can find a grommet one of these days, I might put a grommet in there. Um, but anyway, that's what she looks like. Adjusted this to be sort of level, I think. Maybe a little down because I want more of this area. Not so much of the, I don't know how much of the trunk lid it's going to pick up from that height. Uh, but it definitely is going to be able to do its job, see what's coming from behind. Okay, next comes the remote control. So, I think I'm going to mount it up here on my RAM mount. It has 3M tape, but also a slot for a zip tie. It seems like it's going to fit really nice sort of sideways on that RAM mount, so that's where I'm going to try to get it. Um, anyway, snaked the uh, giant zip tie down through here and came out here. I had to remove this bolt, 5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench, to remove that bolt out all together so that I could pull this back a little. And by being able to pull this back a little, it allowed me to get that cable through with, for the remote control, uh, for the, yeah, remote. And I've fished the cables underneath all of the connections here so that they uh, don't get pinched like that is. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. But anyway, there it goes.
anyway, I think that's going to work. Time to hook up the remote switch to the Van True base unit. Okay, got the re remote zip tied and taped there. I think that's going to be solid. Wires running back through here, zip tied to these other wires. No interference. And turning. It's coming out down here. Spooled because they give you so much. Spooled here, connected here to the main Vantru unit. So I have two more connections to connect up. The front camera right here and the power right here. I'm going to connect the power to my Wago connectors through my power accessory hub, Pathfinder LED power accessory hub down here. Okay, I'm going to mount the front camera up under the fairing, right about here on the side. I don't want it in the middle because I'm afraid this fender will, as it bounces, when it dry, it'll bounce up and hit the camera. So I'm going to move it over here to the side, um, but to get it mounted there, I've got to find a way to route that cable through there, and there's no good way. I could route it inside the shock well here, but I don't want the shock interfering with it in any way, or it interfering with the shock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the middle cowl on the side, which is pretty involved um, with the help of Cruise Man's videos, by the way. Um, and then I can get a clearer picture of how I want to route this cable all the way through. Okay, we got the middle cowl off. And so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to mount it right here going to drill a hole right back here for the wires to go up in and then those wires will come out over here and I'll just route them through this open area keeping them well away from that that shock well in there so it shouldn't interfere with the travel of the shock or the shock shouldn't affect or mess with the cabling for the dash cam so that's what we're going to try to do next. Drill more holes. Oh boy. Good lord guys, it's hot today. I'm glad this install is about done. Let me show you what I've done. There's the front camera. Installed right there. Got it screwed in under there. Plus the 3M tape. So it's not going anywhere. Got the cable running up through a hole that I drilled. Running right here along the middle cowl on the inside underneath the tub wire coming out right here and then everything's neatly wrapped up and zip tied right here with the Van True base unit uh, unobscured with the logo facing up, which is the way that the GPS points, so that's good. Everything wired into my Wago connectors, in through my Pathfinder LED power accessory hub, so I didn't have to add anything else to the battery. And now, it's just a matter of getting this baby put all back together again. Let me show you how it works. Start video recording. Wi-Fi on. Okay, a little synthetic voice talks to you, tells you it's on. That cruise man's video up here 
because I'm about to put that middle cowl back on. Spaceship is all lit up in front. Love that. Love it. All right. So I go to my Vantrue app and then connect. And then lo and behold, front facing camera comes on showing my toolbox up there. And then the rear facing camera comes on showing the Bronco back there. And you can control it by this app. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this app that I'm sorry I, I haven't researched at all right now, but hey, everything seems to be working. All right. Let's get this thing put back together and by golly, get back in some air conditioning. Good Lord. Okay. Everything is back together. Best I could do it. I think it all fit. So quick walk around. There's the back rear camera mount. That gaffer tape's not going to work. I'll have to find another solution. For now, it's okay. Uh, there's the remote up here, all tightly bound to that. And then once again, the front facing camera. Hard to see in there. I don't have a light, but there it is. Okay, so I will, later on when the sun goes down, get out and take this for a test drive and show you guys the footage. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Um, and as I've said many times before, man, Cruise Man's videos were a tremendous help getting this thing apart and back together. If you haven't, already go check out his videos it costs you a little money but it saves you so much money in labor costs you can do it yourself go check it out all right as we close this video guys i'm going to leave you with the footage that i take tonight and until we talk again ride safe and god bless